Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lauren. I am 15 years old and sell clothing on Poshmark, Mercari, and hopefully soon on eBay as well. So in today's video, I have a very exciting video. I just purchased seven big trash bags full of clothing to resell on Facebook Marketplace, actually. Um, so that's kind of somewhere that I like to sell things if I just want some quick cash or I just have bread and butter um, items. So in today's video, we will be going through all of these bags. So let's get right into it. So a few things I wanted to share with you before I start going through every single bag was all of these bags were $5 a piece. So there is a thrift store in my area that they sell these every Friday for $5. And basically what I do is go through them. And once I've gone through them, I pick out different things that I want to keep to resell on my platforms um, as far as like Poshmark and Mercari. Um, but then the things that I don't think are worth selling on there or I just don't want anything to do with, I will leave in the bags and then fill up a trash bag full from all of the clothing. I'll just fill a new one up and then sell it on Facebook Marketplace for about $15. So not only am I keeping a few things out to get more profit on um, in the future, I'm also making $10 profit on each bag. So I've done this in the past. Um, I had another seven bags and all seven of them sold within an hour of being listed on Facebook Marketplace and then I think five of them were delivered that exact night and then the next day I had to deliver the other ones but if you want some really quick cash and you have maybe your own clothing or you have an opportunity like I do where you can purchase a lot of clothing at once this is for you but let's just get right into the first bag so I guess we'll just uh oh <laughs> some went flying okay so another thing too was they are by sizes which is very nice because I do find when I'm selling on Facebook marketplace if I have a bunch of different sizes it does not move very fast it takes like weeks and weeks of like lowering the price and all kinds of different things whereas if you have them all in the same size or like it doesn't all have to be the same size, but if you have like small and medium together, um, I just sold a bag of that. So um, even if you don't have enough of one size to fill in a bag, if you have like very similar sizes, um, then you can do that as well. But I do find that having all of the same or similar sizes together, that's how you get it to flip very fast. So most of them for reference, they're not like super packed. But there is a lot of clothing in here for only $5. This is what the first one looks like. So she didn't specifically say if like they were winter or summer. But it looks like there's quite a bit of sweaters in here. So we'll see. So the first brand is Rue 21. It's just this pink cardigan. This is cute. All right, I'm gonna try to go a little fast. Um, just because in this video, I'm gonna try to tackle all seven bags. Um, and I don't want it to be like two hours long. Um, and then in another video, so stay tuned for the next video because I'll be sharing with you how the selling went um, and what happens to all of these items. So stay tuned for that. Oh, this is good. Okay, so I'll probably keep this to resell. It's from Disney, which Disney is a really good brand. Um, it sells really well for me. I guess those are like dragons. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, I could probably sell that. Next, new with tags, silver. I've heard of silver jeans, but I've never heard of like silver leggings. They say that they retail for $12. So I don't know, just a basic pair of leggings in a blue color. Those I might look up, but will more than likely go on Facebook. The next brand is Philly Flare. I think, did I say that right? Yeah, I think so. It's just a basic top, a nice green color. Again, mostly bread and butter things, but still pretty cool. These are like a no-name brand. Just a pair of leggings. Tea Shop? Never heard of that either. It's just a basic top 
Pepsi green sweater. Fever is the brand. It's got like kind of bell sleeves. It's an open front cardigan. Sorry if it's kind of hard to see everything. Let's see, another cardigan. This is by Christopher and Banks. Um, I don't tend to pick this brand up, but it should do well in those bags. Another thing too, um, this is by Harold's. Just a nice like little cardigan to put over a dress or something. Another thing too, you definitely want to tell people what you do because I do have a lady every time I post trash bags out on Facebook Marketplace, she always mes messages me and is like, hey, are they still available? And I always just drop them off at her house and she pays me cash for them. Um, and so today I actually had to go and deliver a previous bag, not related to this, just a different bag of clothes. And um, she was telling me that she um, sends a lot of the clothes to Mexico to people that don't have clothing down there. And so she said anytime that I had more clothes, basically all of these to let her know because she'd be very interested in purchasing them for me. So it's great to have a connection like that where you can just, instead of posting them on Facebook, you can just direct message her um, or whoever it might be telling them that you have clothes. So that's cool too. This is from Day Trip. Just a basic top. It does have like some like um, rhinestones. Is that what they're called <laughs> on the sleeves? Um, day trip. I'll probably that'll probably go in the bag too. Yeah, I don't think I want to mess with that. But if there is something in particular that I'm going to keep out, I will let you know. Um, but everything else, I'll probably just leave it in the bags. Fifth Sun. I have sold something by this um crushing it that I might list because graphic tees like that do pretty well a pair of jeans okay Mavi jeans they look like they're skinny jeans I think I don't know possibly I mean they could be something good not really sure I'll have to look those up okay what is this LuLaRoe. Okay, I do have another lady um, that I have um, a connection with that every time I have LuLaRoe leggings, she buys them from me th for about three bucks a piece. So I'll be letting her know that I have those. Another piece from this brand. Actually, this might be the exact same, just in a different color. So that's cool. All right, and then the last thing from the first bag is Morona. Morona is good. Um, for me, since I have so much inventory, more than likely what I'll do is just put it in the bag because I don't really want to mess with an $8 item, um, to be honest. So probably won't be doing anything with that. The next one is the size small. So also, there were five of them that were a size medium, one that was a size large and one that was a size small. So, this is the size small one. Yeah, I don't know um, if there were any pieces that were amazing that I'm like, oh, for sure going to put on Poshmark or Mercari besides that Crushing It graphic tee. Uh, <laughs> this is hilarious. Okay, so I literally had this in a size large like a few months ago. And I don't remember what I did with that. I think I sold it on Poshmark or something. That is hilarious. Okay. That will probably go on Poshmark. It's just by Arizona Jean, but I mean, I think it should still do well. I think I sold it, um, the other one on Poshmark. Not really sure. Can't remember. Um, this will go in a bag. Okay. All right. So this is the same, same one as this. They're just purple and a blue. Those, since they're um, a new approach, A and A, I might be able to lot those together, but the style is a little bit old, so I don't know if I'll end up doing that or not. Again, so much inventory, I will probably just put it in the bag um, for the quick flip. 
Alright, so the next thing is by American Eagles, uh, or American Eagle Outfitters. This is a size medium, so I have no clue why it's in the size small, but it's just a basic tee, so if it was a pair of their jeans, I would probably keep it, but since it's just a basic top, I will go ahead and keep it in the bag. Um, again, Marona. That will go in the bag. Another pair of jeans. Oh, these are kind of cool. They are um, Denizen by Levi's. It's kind of worn off a little, but it's a high-rise ankle straight. If these are my size, I might keep them. They're size 2. They might fit me. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I was afraid of that. Um, <laughs> the bag that is sort of my size um, that I would be tempted to keep a bunch Okay, all right, so you'll have to help me with this one. So it's 41 Hawthorne, I think. I've heard good things about this brand, but I can't remember, like, if it is really great or if it's not. I feel like it's a good brand. I don't know. Let me know. Um, I'll definitely um, set this one aside to do some more research on um, because I feel like that's good, but I'm not sure. Is it good or am I just making that up? I do not know. Okay. Old Navy. I love selling Old Navy. Again, it's like a 7 or $8 item, so it'll just go in the bag. There's definitely a lot of clothing in here for $5, um, so that's cool. This is... Sorry, I'm trying to cover up my face so it'll focus. Um, Ann Taylor Loft. It is a size 6 petite, so... I don't know. Petites are always hard. To sell um and ann taylor's not like the best brand for me but i might keep that to put on poshmark and mercari this is ambience what is this dress i think it's a dress yep it's a dress that will go in the bag and this will go in the bag as well it's just uh sonoma i feel like if i tried to say that fast i would say it wrong <laughs> just a sweater all right, just a Maurice's. This one's kind of cute. This is Maurice's as well. It's a very old style though, and it's like straight leg or boot cut. Um, that will go in the bag. Let me know in the comments. Do you sell Maurice's? Um, I definitely tend to sell more pieces than not. Let me know. Do you like selling it? How does it do for you? These are not Maurice's. These are Star City, but they're just going in the bag. Ab Studio, never heard of it. The quality isn't the greatest. It's got like a built-in tank. So, ooh, haha, -ha. this is good. Tommy Hilfiger. I mean, it's not like amazing, amazing, but I'll definitely probably sell these. Um, Tommy doesn't sell for a ton. Um, not as much as it did maybe like a year or two ago, but those should still sell. These are Liverpool jeans. Is Liverpool good? Kind of like 41 Hawthorne. I don't know. I feel like maybe it's good. It's got a little bit of, like, puckering right there. We'll see about that. And that was the last item um, out of the small. So that's great. I'm only maybe keeping one of those. So that is, that's amazing. Didn't want to keep like the whole bag by any means. Okay, size large. Okay, this is Amigos. Just a graphic tee. That will go in a bag. Uh, size large. Very interesting. Well, this is size extra large. See, like some of them, the sizes are a little mixed up. This is just a regular, like, top. What is this? Okay. This is Dance Skin Now. Like a windbreaker jacket. Another thing, too, that I wanted to mention was I also have a, like, group on Facebook for, like, friends and family um, where it's, like, a closet clear-out page type thing where I have a bunch of people that are friends and family on there that I just post like certain things of clothing so 
I'll just take one picture of each item and then put the size, the brand, and how much I want for it. And I sell a lot that way too, so I might do that with some of this stuff as well. Because I can definitely see each piece selling for like $1 to $3. Um, so I might do that as well. But it's definitely a lot easier. I think this is a dress. But since it's a size like large it also has a sleepwear so yeah maybe it's a nightgown or something um i always get confused with like size large stuff because i'm like a size small so it looks huge so i don't know if it's like a top or if it's supposed to be a dress i don't know am i the only one that gets confused about that stuff um these are maurice's just a pair of jeans um, they do have a lot of wear though on the bottoms, so. But anyway, that is probably, um, what I'll do with some of the stuff too. Um, just put it on that group. So, again, in the next video that I will upload, I'll go ahead and, like, break it all down for you guys. Um, saying if I sold it on Facebook Marketplace, if I sold it to that one lady, or if I put it on the group. So, that's another thing too, if you want to have, like, a special group to post things it's a lot easier than having to post it on Poshmark or Mercari because you don't have to take a ton of photos and have a really nice title and description um these are just loft a pair of pants I don't know I might keep those to resell on Poshmark or Mercari not sure next brand is Valerie Stevens pair of like ankle and cropped dress pants. It's kind of felt nice. Maybe there's something good. I'll we'll have to see. Liz Claiborne. Just some pants. Yeah, this is definitely the bag of pants. Hollywood, except it's like wood, like would you go to the store with me instead of the wood? <laughs> oh goodness, I should stop talking. This is pretty funny. Okay. Those will go in the bag as well. Whew, I'm kind of gross. Loft again. I don't know. I feel like I always pick up loft, but then it sits for a long time for me. So we'll see what I do with these. I don't want a ton of stuff sitting. These are Hollywood as well, so same thing. Alright, that was everything for the size large. So... Yeah, I mean, I think I would probably just put everything in there in a bag and sell it for 15 Um, but yeah, let me know what you would do. Okay, alright, this is a size medium as well. This one she stuffed pretty full, actually, so I'll just show you real quick. This is what it looks like. There is a lot of patterns in here. Rue 21. This is a dress. Yes. Dress. Chevron. Dress with like a back cutout detailing. Okay. This. No name brand. It's like a dress. Maxi. Dress. It's got pockets too. That's very nice. Ah, this is a very old Maurice tag. Maurice is, but it's really worn. Like, the tag is worn off. Dress. That will go in the bag as well, probably. Again, I'll let you know if something's not going to go in the bag, but... Collective concept. That's a nice blouse. What's this? Oh. Apartment 9. It's inside out, but it's just a cami. Tank top. Another one. This is by BKE. So, exhilaration. This is just Walmart brand PJ pants with like keys and locks on it. Lock and keys. Okay. A lot of tank tops in here. This is Maurice's. Not too exciting. Okay. Another BKE <laughs> cami. Wow, there's a lot of camis in here. This is Aeropostale, or someone told me I was saying that wrong. Aeropostale, Aero, P 
postal. I don't really know. Um, but yep, whatever that brand is. Yep, I've been saying it the wrong way a long time, so it's hard to change the way I've been saying it. Okay, this is just Maurice's. That, ooh, got a piece of fuzz. Very bright neon highlighter green color. That's nice. Okay, another loft. Holy smokes. It's like a flannel. That I might keep out. Um, We'll see about that. This is Old Navy. Just a top. What's this? Same brand that I can't say. Mm, what is this? April Why Not? Never heard of that. It's a strapless dress. Or is this a skirt? This might be a skirt. Yeah, it's probably a skirt. I'm guessing. Yeah, probably. I don't know if you would be able to wear that as a dress. I mean, you might be able to. But yeah, that's definitely a skirt. Okay, this is a no-name brand. This is a top, I think. Yeah, it's like a top. Again, I get confused with tops and dresses. I'm like, which ones are which? Not quite sure. Okay, this is gross. This is just like a hurly top. Ooh. Ugh, yucky. I'll probably go in the trash. I do not want to send that to this lady. That would be very rude. Ooh. Lauren by Ralph Lauren. All right. This is a blazer. This, I need to look it over for flaws. Make sure all the buttons are there, but I will definitely resell that. That's, that's really good, actually. This is another Christopher and Banks. Just a jean jacket. Um, we have some feety pajamas in here. These are Disney. <laughs> okay, I'll probably sell these actually. Disney. Um, is this Eeyore? I think it is Eeyore. Well, she was trying to sell it for $7.50. Yeah, these are Eeyore PJs, like feety pajamas. I used to love feety pajamas when I was little. And then I got too old, or not too old, but my legs got too long, and then feety pajamas would give me a wedgie so I couldn't wear them anymore. So, those are cool. So glad that they make adult feety pajamas. Those are cool. These are just a pair of pants. Fleece pants. Maurice's. This is, I don't know, like a dress or something. Not quite sure. Hmm. Don't know this brand either, but it's just a. Uh, these are like dry rotted. <laughs> okay. This is a dress. I know that's a dress. Chevron dress. What's this? Ooh. Okay, this is Maurice's, but it's like a knit, so I'll probably actually sell that because right now crochet, like knit things, are very, very trendy and popular right now, so I'm sure that that would do pretty well. So I might actually list that one myself. This is Marona. Just a mustard color cardigan. Pretty basic, but just a dress. Piles are starting to get bigger over here. Okay, another cami. I don't see a brand on this one either, but oh well. Last item in this bag is just this tank top. So yeah, that was an okay bag. All right, we have three more left. Ugh. All right. I would definitely say the first time I did this, I was very disappointed, but I didn't really know what to expect, and I think my expectations were really high, whereas now I kind of know what to expect, so I'm like, well, if I get a bunch of crappy brands, that's all right. Ew. Yuck. Okay. This. Ooh. Yuck. Can't touch it. It's disgusting. 
<laughs> See that? Oh, yuck. It's like maybe makeup or something. Ooh, that is gross. It is cute. Like, if, like, I mean, if it was clean, that would be so cute. But, ugh, that's gross. So, probably, we'll just, like, maybe throw that away. I don't want to give this lady or whoever buys it gross stuff because I don't, I mean, first of all, giving people gross stuff is not good. This is a romper. Um, it's not good. Especially if you are, um, if she's, like, buying from me in the future, I don't want to, like, give her bad stuff because I want her to like the stuff I give her so that she'll buy for me in the future as well. This is like a dolman sleeve top. So, I mean, yeah. That, I probably will just, just leave in my Poshmark room and then throw it away or something. Or maybe I'll donate it and see if someone wants to do something with it. I mean, because it could be cleaned, but you have to touch it to clean it, so... That might be bad. Not, I'm not the person for that job. Okay, this, these are LuLaRoe. I don't know what the pattern is, but I will probably just give them to that one lady or have her, like, buy them, I guess. She buys those for me all the time, so. This is just a turquoise, like, jacket. This is the next brand. It's kind of a cute little sweater. Well, this might be expensive. It even has it embroidered here. So I'll look that up. And I'll put it on the screen somewhere like right here. If it's good, I'll let you know. Because it might be good. This is a Maurice's, like, um, cardigan. This is really cute. I actually might um, put that in my Poshmark closet and then cross-list it to Mercari for summer. What's this? Holy cow. These are some huge buttons. <laughs> this is Kato. Look how big those buttons are. You know it's got dog fur everywhere. Ugh. Look at that. Those are some really big buttons. <laughs> wow. So that will go in a bag. Just a basic top this another loft this is just like a lightweight cardigan or sweater this is forever 21 it's just a very old label so it has the 21 but it actually is forever 21 without the forever um so that would go in a bag another pair of LuLaRoe leggings this is kind of a cool print definitely different print basic top what size were these these are a medium these look huge these are an 18 if, you're, if you wear size 18 you're like a extra large or large not a medium i mean i'm a size like small and my whole body could fit in like one of those pant legs so that is in the wrong bag but that's okay, it's fine. Okay, this is a size medium. This is houndstooth, that's what the print is if you um, have never heard of that print. Basically that's what this is, um, houndstooth. It's just a dress, so nothing too special. LuLaRoe, I have another lady that likes LuLaRoe tops in a size medium, so I'll probably send that to her. Oh, wow, Charlotte Roos. This is like an old tag, Charlotte Roos. What is this? Wait. Oh, it's got like three. Okay, so it's like a skirt, but it's got three buttons. It's like a pencil skirt. Okay. That will probably go in the bag, just because I don't really want to have to mess with it. This is Rue 21. Basic top. Okay, let's see is gap basic top is as well um that is it for that bag so i have two bags left 
Try to hurry. Las Karma is the brand. Never heard of this one. Ugh, what is this? Dress. Yep, this is a paisley print dress. Yep. This is also everything of the size medium. Um, the rest is size medium, too. If I haven't said that already. Okay. What's this, actually? Faded Glory. Basic waffle knit top. These are Maurice's. Just a pair of, like, dress pants. Nothing too special there. It's just a dress by Garnet Hill. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna guess this jacket thing is Danskin now. Let's see. Did I call it? Let me look. Yes, I did. Yep. I was hoping it'd be, like, North Face or something, but... She would not put that in here. That would have already sold at her shop. Um, this, though, will maybe sell for $4, I think. It's what I could get for it on my Facebook page. Um, so, I mean, that's better than if I were to put it in a trash bag, I guess. This is just Maurice's, just a basic top. A lot of basic things, but it's still pretty cool. It's got, like, a print to it. It's not stars. I don't know what that print is, but it's kind of cute. It's like an off-the-shoulder top. So, that's good for summer. Another denizen from Levi's. Okay. Just a pair of jeans. These are a little bit more worn, but, I mean, they should be fine. She plus Sky. It's just a cardigan, or... Not a cardigan, like a sweater. That is pretty cute. That could probably sell by itself. What's this? Ooh, this might be cool. Sorry, you guys can't see. Um, Venice Liberty. It's kind of weird. It's got like screen printed, but then also this tag. Maybe it was like made for someone. Vince, Vince Beach. What's that say? California. Okay, that's cool. Right? Oh, wow, another new tags. Okay, this is Xenia Outfitters, which is like a boutique brand. Um, this person got it for $5. The price originally was $14. Um, so, just a basic top. Yeah, if the person got it for 5 bucks. Don't see it going for much. It's just like a basic dress or top. Maybe a tunic top or something. Wear it with leggings. It'll be real cute. What's this? Draper James. This is confusing. Is Draper James good? I don't know if it is good or not. This is a very confusing top. Is it like a faux wrap top or? I'm not sure actually. I think it's supposed to be like a wrap top or something. But it's very confusing. This is by Gap. It feels nice. I wonder what the material is. Oh! Okay, I'm getting better at um, feeling things. So this is part wool. 17%. But not like super scratchy, itchy wool. But it is a nice cardigan. That, since it has wool in it, I might actually list on Poshmark and Mercari. This is a top. Basic top that will go in a bag. Another basic blousey top. Oh, this is kind of cute. This is a dress, but look at the sleeves. Sleeves are like a bell sleeve. That's cute. Okay. That will go in a bag. Now this is a top, like a crop top. It's pink by Victoria's Secret. That I would say I would sell, um, but it like weighs nothing because it's just like a basic crop top. It is inside out, but you know. Um, let's see what year it's from. 2013. Okay, never mind. That's gonna go in a bag. This is just a basic tank top. So that's it for that bag. 
Okay. This is the last bag. Let's see. We haven't gotten a ton of really great things, but I mean, we still got a lot of clothes. Um, so, and the main purpose was just to put this on Facebook Marketplace, so. All right. This is by the brand The Limited. It is a dress. Okay, these are gross. Oh, these are so gross. And they're no boundaries. So they're just like leggings. But those are really gross. So, not gonna do anything with that. Just this. Oh, this is soft. Make sure it's not gross, too. Okay, this isn't gross. Okay, sorry. I kind of get grossed out at some stuff. Don't know why, but I just do. Chelsea and Violet. Oh, this is so soft. I actually might keep this to wear with a pair of, like, ripped jeans. What's the material? Polyester and acrylic. So, artificial materials, but <laughs> that's pretty cute. So, I'll set that aside to try on. No way! Holy cow! Oh my goodness! I was not expecting this to be in here. Holy cow! It's We the Free by Free People. If you can see that, maybe. Oh! Wow! I did not think that I would find that in here. I mean, it's not a great piece. I mean, look at it. The style's not the greatest. But free people in a bag of a bunch of stuff for $5. Oh, that's cool. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, makes me motivated to go through the rest of this. Okay, that is gross. Um, Yeah, not as good as the free people, but that's all right. The free people I, I'll actually probably sell. Um, well, I actually know I will sell because should be able to get at least 10 bucks for it. Probably more than that, it's just an older style, so. This is a cardigan by Marona. This is Maurice's as well. It's just like a colorful striped midi length dress. This is just a basic tank top that's inside out. There's still a lot in this bag. No name brand. This is a top or a dress. I actually might sell this because, I mean, the brand isn't anything, but I could maybe put that it's cottage core. Maybe. We'll see. Peter. Oh, I've had this brand before. Let's just say it retails for a lot, but it doesn't resell very well. This is just a dress. It's new without tags because it has this little thing, whatever that thing's called, um, like a tag without a tag. This is just Forever 21, just a basic um, tank top. This is a tank as well. Another top, like a drapey neckline top. This is a butterfly tank top. This is like a tank top too. This is definitely a summer bag, which is nice because summer is coming up. So I could market it as a summer bag. Another tank top. Yep, they're pretty much just all tank tops. This is a tank top too. It's kind of got like a square neckline, so I could even promote it as cottage core. Oh, this is gross. Oh, yuck. That's nasty. Okay. This is Maurice's. Yuck. Short sleeve. Same brand I can't say. American Eagle. That will go in the bag as well. No name brand. Maurice's top. Um, let's see. Ooh, yuck. Deodorant stained dress. No thank you. Yucky. These are just George khaki shorts. Nothing too special. JCPenney shorts. 
Um, what's this? A pair of pants. Nothing too special about those. This is the last thing. Is it going to be good? It is loft. But it's very stained, so that will probably go in the trash, actually. Okay, so that is all seven bags. I'm just going to show you really quick what we're dealing with. So, this is my large pile of medium stuff. This is the bag of large. And then, this is all of my, um, like, small stuff, I guess. So, that was a very long video. If you watched all the way to the end, thank you so much. Um, it means the world to me. And, yeah. I mean... There wasn't a lot of like great, great stuff in here, but I'm super excited to list it on Facebook Marketplace in trash bags and see how fast they sell. So stay tuned for the next video where I share um, all of the numbers, how well it did, and all the different ways that I sold everything. Um, and if you liked today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing down below for more reseller content, and I will see you guys in that next video. Bye!